We're joined now by Rachel Rosenthal, who's here to share her perspective about the state of the world. Hello. First off, I want to say, I get it. Times are tough. First, we're worried about how bad the economy is and whether or not we're going to be able to pay rent this month. And then we have to be scared that global warming is somehow going to turn Boston into a tropical swamp filled with grapefruit-sized malaria-carrying mosquitoes before the next Olympics. And to top it off, even if we make it to those Olympics, Michael Phelps isn't going to be there because of those pictures and smoking weed. <laughs> yes, things look grim, but they will get better. And let me tell you why. Remember when your favorite skirt got thrown up on by the weird temp at the office holiday party? You know her, she's like bipolar and there's a pool going on about whether or not she's got a glass eye or she just likes to look left a lot. <laughs> that skirt had been sitting in a hefty bag in your closet for a few months and you didn't want to throw it away because it's super cute and you got it on sale before Filene's basement went out of business. But if you didn't want to look at it because, you know, it's, it's covered in puke. <laughs> so what did you do? This is what you do. You take it to the dry cleaner. Sounds simple, right? It is. <laughs> dry cleaning is pretty much the closest thing that we have to magic in the modern world. <laughs> Look, they take something that was gross and they make it not gross. <laughs> I don't know about you, but if not being gross is as close to I'm going to get to being miraculous, then that's fine with me. My Vietnamese dry cleaner, Chin Bao, has a shop in Somerville. When you're in his shop, you'd think that he survived the Khmer Rouge, Cambodian pirates, and typhoid just so he could deliver the finest sweater cleaning, jean hemming, and bridesmaid dress alterations Porter Square has ever seen. I hope you don't think I'm being condescending. I'm not. But I have a pretty great job if you don't count the glass-eyed vomiting bitches. But I can't even begin to match the kind of enthusiasm that my dry cleaner has for his work. He remembers my name, he greets me with a smile, and I leave not only with a clean garment, but I feel cleaner too. I feel like giving my home people, I feel like giving homeless people my money and going up to random strangers and saying, you know what, I like your hat. <laughs> what a world this would be if we could all be like my Vietnamese dry cleaner chin mall. <laughs> Listen, I'm not saying that a clean skirt's gonna make your problems go away, and the problems that we're facing, they are big. But that doesn't mean that there aren't people in this world who will go out of their way to make other people happy, even if all they're really doing is treating you like a human being. That makes me want to be one of those people, or at least try to be. All of this with just a single trip to the dry cleaner. Now go on out there and throw up on somebody's skirt. It'll change their lives. Thank you, Rachel Rosenthal.